It seems like Xiaomi hasn't given up on MIUI 8 yet as it is continuously trying to improve it some way or the other, even at the verge of MIUI 9 global stable launch. Now a new update has arrived on my Redmi Note 3 and the update version is MIUI 8.5.6.0 which happens to be a gigantic 1.2 GB update. Now talking about the change log, it promises to fix a hell lot of things starting from overall tweaking to in-depth improvement. And I gotta say there are some important changes that are to take place in overall system, user interface, theme, calendar, calculator and so on. So let's update my phone first and then, then I'm gonna tell you a detail changes and also tell you whether it's worth upgrading or not. Now before going into detailed stuff, let me just show you that my phone is running on the latest version. So as you can see it's running on MIUI 8.5.6.0 but sadly the Android security patch level hasn't been updated to the latest version. Anyways the very first change that I noticed was with the fingerprint sensor. It has been working more accurately after the update and it feels more responsive now. The overall user interface also feels smoother than before and the app opening and closing time also seems to have been looked on. It's good to see such tune-ups in the user interface. Moving ahead, if you are a second space user, you must have been facing a lot of problems starting from not receiving notifications to minor lags, but with this update, there has been a huge improvement in the overall working of it. And no, I am not an active second space user, but luckily my brother is and he said that there has been an improvement and it is also better to take response from experienced ones. Anyways, one very annoying problem that I was facing with my previous version was with the Korean network signal strength. All of a sudden the signal bars used to vanish for no reason at all and then I had to restart my phone to get back the signals. But with this update, the signal strength seems to have been looked on as they are more steady and reliable. So a very big thumbs up to Xiaomi for that as it was really really an annoying problem. Now there also has been many contact issues with many users and with this update Xiaomi has promised to fix them. Honestly guys, Xiaomi's updates are so deep rooted that it sometimes is impossible to find what actually changed in the phone. Anyways, I also noticed some minor improvements in the working of the notification set. It feels more smoother and responsive than before. It's good to see such detailed stuff taken care of by a company. There also has been a change in the calculator app. If you notice carefully, the user interface has been tuned a bit and also there has been improvement in the overall working along with the new transition. Actually, it looks different and cool. Now Xiaomi also claims that the screen recording won't be hindered by the quick ball hovering on the screen while recording but in my test it was very much visible and I don't know Xiaomi might have been talking about their inbuilt screen recording app but unfortunately it hasn't arrived in my phone. Xiaomi has also finally tweaked the outdated default theme and now if you look at it, it looks all the same but definitely improvements are done to it. So a big thumbs up to Xiaomi for that. There also has been a minor like really minor UI enhancement when it comes to charging. I'm sorry for being too detailed but yeah there has been some tweaks done to it. Now it also shows that it has added app locks for dual apps but if you recall it was already included on the previous update and so was the OTP on lock screen issue. So some of the improvements noted in the change log are actually a repetition for some reason might be an improvement but not an addition. Now other than these things there has been many minor improvements of which I'm gonna tell you few of the important ones and again it's very minor but anyways so with this update me life app isn't pre-installed anymore there has been improvement in the overall syncing process the front camera beautification has been improved a bit and yeah on my test it looked that way moving ahead you can even now select multiple images on the recent section of the gallery and honestly I have no idea why it 
wasn't there like i never noticed was it there or not there also has been improvement in the overall inbuilt editor of MIUI when it comes to pictures and videos. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. If you found this video helpful, please give a big thumbs up. And if you want more, please subscribe to our channel. It's Ayn from the Tech Info signing off. Hope to see you in my next video.